All tuners, no holiday celebration would be complete without dessert. So joining us right now with some sweet inspiration to round out your Easter feast is pastry chef Casey Duty from the Boca Group. Casey, thank you so much for coming by. I'm so excited to be here. Oh, uh -huh, Casey, these treats look so yummy and delicious. So tell us, what did you bring for us? Yes, so let's start on your side of the table, Tuni. We have some brownies, a torta spusolona. It's a blueberry lemon almond cake. Over here, we've got some French macarons, a very cute decorated vanilla cupcakes. It looks like little Easter bunnies. And then the star of the show. This is what we're making today, tiramisu because you could do it at home and it's a great dessert for Easter. All right, let's do it. What do we got? All right, so first we're gonna take our yolks. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put this in the mixing bowl. All right. And then if you'd grab the sugar for me. So this is where we make our pet de bomb with our yolks and our sugar. We're yeah. gonna start the mixer up. Give it a push. Start this tiramisu. Let's do it, Casey. So All it's right. gonna take about two to three minutes. All right, so now that we've created our pet de bomb mm -hmm. with our yolks and sugar, I'm gonna pass you the cheese. I this will is take mascarpone. That. All right. Go ahead and spoon that in there. And this is really what helps stabilize that mousse. The thickness does? It does. All right. And now we're gonna let that mix together. All right, I'm gonna take this off the mixer now. All right. And then we're gonna swap bowls. So I'm gonna have you help me. Whites and sugar go into the bowl and we're gonna make our meringue and then right. fold it into the cheese yolk mixture. Now, I, I, I'm helping you a lot more than I normally help. You're so, learning. I am learning. You're learning. So far, it's all stuff I can do. I'm surprised. See how easy this is? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you know what? I think that uh, the chef is giving you the easiest job. So we're going to just bring our bowl back up. And I think we can start building here. Yeah, let's do it. OK, so lady fingers. This all is right. going to be the base. We're going to soak it in a coffee soak. All right. We're going to do this nice and neat and clean. How's that? Is that OK? Give it a little more, a little bit, more? A little more of a soap. As a fish, I yeah. don't have hands, and I was a little offended that they call these lady fingers, you know, because ah. I, honestly, like, why not uh, fish no. fins or something right. like that? I'm looking at our whites right now, and I am going to stop the mixer. So this is what you want your whites to look like. You end up folding it into your yolk mixture, and that's where we have already done that. Perfect. Piping bags. Yeah. So now we're just going to pipe a little bit of that mousse on top. When you're layering the mascarpone mousse, make sure you get it all the way to the edges of the glass, and then you keep on layering until you get to the top. And when you're finished layering, just clean the top right before you dust the cocoa powder. All right. Yeah. That looks so unappealing. Come on, look at yours compared to the chef's. It's to ridiculous. Show that I worked Bill, hard. That's a complete Well, luckily, lie. we do have some finished ones. Yeah, it's time to eat. All right, here goes. Cheers. To you. <laughs> Cheers to Tony. Th that's right. Thank you. That tastes so good. We can't thank you enough for stopping by and sharing these festive desserts with us. Uh, Casey, you're the best. 